I'm Jenny Chaff here with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. Mm. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, how are you, Shannon? I'm good. You know what my favorite thing about this show is? What? You get beat down. How much it torments him to have to keep talking about Tom Brady day after day after day. He has become your worst nightmare. I know you dream about him because you have nightmares about him. Monday. I know you dread coming in here because Monday (laughs) is going to be your worst day ever. Monday. Monday be the last time. No. Uh. Uh. Maybe the last time. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Woo. Yep. I I thought you. I thought you. I thought you said you. Are we going to sing? I can't. I. You could have fooled me. Yeah, I couldn't even figure doing? out what that song was. I had to like let it. It's old. It's old, old you know what spiritual. though? Yeah, yeah I old have shit. to say, Skip, I'm enjoying it too. Are you? It's been fun yeah. talking it, about oh, Tom you're, Brady. No, oh, I thought you meant his singing. Well, no, oh. that was a nice little yeah. treat. But yeah, no, talking so, about no, Tom, so. how well he's been doing. Let's talk about him Let's some do more. It. Yeah, we have a lot more to get to on today's show, yeah. and also we're gonna chat about LeBron. Shannon, are you starting to worry about your guy? Never. He, he's mm, still injured. And then what about Skip's guy Kyler? Is he gonna be a top ten pick? Yep. But let's start with the AFC Championship game. Hey, Tom Brady chat. The Patriots are a three-point underdog heading to Kansas City. The two head coaches, Bill Belichick and Andy Reid, have history against each other. Belichick's teams have allowed at least 40 points seven times in his career, and three of those were against Andy Reid, including the Patriots' 43-40 win in October. In fact, in three of the last four meetings between the two, Andy Reid's Chiefs, have scored at least 40. Mm. Shannon, mm. does Andy Reid have Belichick's number? No, it's a, it's a more of a function um, of Kansas City's offensive talent that they put on the football field. And don't feel bad. They score 40 against a lot of people. Mm. They average over 35 and a half points per game. Okay. They're good. Mm. If you look at the times that, let's go back to 2014, Skip, when, when Andy Reid first got to Kansas City, the one thing that they can do that Coach Belichick doesn't like you to do mm-hmm. is run the football. Mm-hmm. That night, they ran the football for over 200 yards. Mm-hmm. Now, Tom Brady really helped them that night, and that's why a lot of people mm-hmm. thought it was over for him. He turned the ball over three times. It was 27 nothing midway mm-hmm. through the third quarter. Coach Belichick goes into every ball game, with the exception of the Super Bowl in which they beat the Giants. We're going to shut off your run. Mm-hmm. Well, he doesn't. he can't shut the run off. They're averaging 155 yards rushing. So now, if you run the football... Coach Belichick dropped the safety down, says, okay, mm. now try and run the ball. Mm. Guess what that opens you up to? The home run plays over the top. Tyreek Hill in two ball games, Skip, he had what? He's 14 catches, 275, four touchdowns. Mm. Ah, so now, remember we talked about this on Sunday. Mm-hmm. San Diego didn't take away anything. They couldn't stop the run. They couldn't stop the pass. And that's what's going on here, Skip, with Coach Belichick. He can't stop the run. And when you can't stop the run, you subject, especially if you got decent quarterbacks. Now, there's sometimes, Skip, you can't stop the run and the quarterback isn't very good, and so they can't punish you to the tune of 40 yards. But when you can't stop the run, mm-hmm. and Kansas City's running, you look at it in 2014, now Davis, Jamal Charles, not only were they running the football, they were catching the ball out of the backfield, mm-hmm. hung 41 on them. Again, the opening night, that Thursday night, what was it last year, Skip, two years ago, what happened? Kareem Hunt burst on the scene, 98 yards receiving, over 145 yards rushing. When you can do that, Skip, you're at the team's mercy. And now you throw in my, my home boy. Hmm. Now, this is what we know. Now, they did it. Oh, I know you like, oh, Alex, Alex Smith scored this. When they had Wait, it. Have I spoke? I no, you haven't spoken. Yeah, yeah, finally. Yeah. Finally. You know what, Jenny? Mm-hmm. I feel very comfortable. Mm-hmm. This is so nice of you, Skip Bayless, to allow me to talk without so rudely interrupting mm-hmm. like you normally do. I just had to point out that <laughs> I have not spoken because Skip you just tried to put words in my and mouth. And then because I would well, know you. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is that with Patrick Mahomes is that when you score like they score, you can't dink and dunk the ball. You have to be willing to put yourself in harm's way, and sometimes you're going to turn the ball over, but you're going to get those home run threats down the field. Mm-hmm. Tyreek Hill in two games, each game he has at least a 75-yard touchdown catch. Mm. He had, you know, what, had 143 on the first game they played. This time he had 140-something and three touchdowns. So, Skip, when you have that kind of balance, when you can run the football and Coach Belichick wants to stop that run mm. and he can't stop the run, they're immensely talented. Jamal Charles had the, has the highest yard per attempt of anybody with a minimum of 1,000 carries. That's Jamal Charles. That's what they're trying to stop. And then Kareem Hunt, we know what he represented his rookie year because he led the league mm-hmm. in rushing. And now you come back, Kareem Hunt was there. 
Mm. The last time they played mm. Duke, Skip, remember that. Yeah. And then Tyreek Hill was unbelievable, Travis Kelsey. Mm. So that's what it is, Skip. I mean, they average 35 and a half. It's not like all of a sudden they average 20, and then when they play the Patriots, they get 40. No, nah, no. Nah. They got 51 against the Rams. They got 40 against the Steelers. They got 45 against the Bengals. They get 40 against a lot of people. Mm. We're not just talking about 2018, though. We're going back to 2014. I said 20, yeah. Okay. That, that Monday Night Massacre. So, the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp just beautifully broke down to you exactly why Andy Reid owns Bill Belichick, why he has Bill Belichick's number, and that number is 40. Oh, my goodness. Way to go, because <laughs> what we just saw, all the numbers you just displayed, they all scream that in the end, Bill Belichick has lost his fastball on defense. I don't know why people can't see this because it has routinely happened, most, m much of it because of Andy Reid, but I can go into several other games in which he has clearly just lost his fastball. These numbers scream that Bill Belichick should thank his lucky stars for the quarterback at age 41 who continues to save his legacy and let him off the hook for these collapses that routinely have happened, especially at the hands of one Andy Reid. So we're just, we're not going back to the Super Bowl the long ago after the 2004 season Super Bowl. That, that's ancient history. And Belichick had his fastball on defense in those days. But lately, since Andy Reid has been in Kansas City, we have seen again, I just want to drive these numbers home, 41 points, 42 points, 40 points. And in those games, and by the way, there was a playoff game stuck in the middle of them after the 2015 15, season. Season. It was in early 2016, a divisional round playoff game in Foxborough that went down to an onside kick, just for the record. Right. And I'm, gonna, I'm about to break that game down in just a second. But in the four games Andy Reid has coached against Belichick's defense while he's been in Kansas City, the Chiefs have gone 27 of 53 on third down. That's 51%. So more than half the time on third down, they convert. Trust me, you're going to be in trouble if that happens. On that many third downs, if you allow more than half of 53 third downs to get converted, bad things are going to happen on the scoreboard. And that's what keeps on happening because in those four games, Andy Reid's Chiefs have put up almost 100 first downs. That's 20, it's 24 a game for four games. And I point out that three of those four games were quarterbacked by check down Alex, not by your homeboy, but by check down Alex. In those three games that he has played, he's averaged 277 yards passing. His career average, to your point, is 205. Mm -hmm. So against Belichick, he just feasts on Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. And speaking of feasting, I know at the end of most regular seasons, you can say they've got a top five defense, or at least this year, a top 10 defense in score and points allowed, right? Mm -hmm. That's because they feast on the East. That's because they get six games a year against oh! teams that they can deal with. You see what you did, Skip Bayless? Um, Jenny, you saw what he did. Now, now, when you want to make the argument that Coach Belichick has lost his fastball, mm -hmm. now it's against the AFC East. But you don't do that when Tom Brady is winning all these mm -hmm. AFC East titles. Mm -hmm. You don't mention the Jets. You don't mention Buffalo, and you don't mention Miami. Why? Tom Brady put this team in position to have the one seed. This game, you know, in your heart of hearts, should be being played in Foxborough on Sunday Actually, night, not in Kansas because City. Because they shouldn't have lost to San Diego. I mean, no, the Chargers, the no. LA Chargers, should they? The game they shouldn't have blown, thanks to Bill Belichick, was up 33-28 to 28 with seven seconds left in Miami. And Miami was stuck first and 10 at its 31-yard line and somehow managed to pull off a home run play that was not a Hail Mary, that did not require Rob Gronkowski to defend a Hail Mary at the goal line. It, it required him to make the tackle because he was the last line of defense, broken down as he is, shell of himself. He can't run, he can't jump, oh. he can't move. And he allowed the, I don't even know what we're gonna call it, let's just call it the Miami miracle play mm. that, that cost the, the New England Patriots this home field advantage. This game should be in New England because Tom Brady did his part in that game played his best statistical game of the year at Miami where he had lost four of his last five to put this game at home. So 
again, he, he almost saved Belichick from himself until the Miami miracle occurred. But let's continue to look at the one good game that New England played against Andy Reid, and it was that playoff game, and it was 27 to 20. So they held Kansas City to 20 points, but look what they didn't hold them to. Kansas City in that game, this is at Foxborough, was 12 of 20 on third down. They ran 83 plays to only 56 for Tom Brady's offense and controlled the football 38 minutes to only 22 minutes. So Tom Brady only had the ball for 22 minutes in that game, and he was just extraordinary. He had a QBR of 87. He's 